I'm Liz Brown Swanson at Ladera Linda Community Park, where our community has come together in a collective effort to help residents impacted by the landslide. Nonprofit organizations like Communities Child and the Peninsula Rotary Club are here with many volunteers to serve meals every Wednesday through October to residents impacted by the slide, residents that have lost power for weeks. Our city is also here with the finance team helping residents apply for grants. So let's step into Ladera Linda as our community is coming together in the most difficult of times. Uh, my name is Vince Giuliano. I'm with Gaetano's Restaurant, one of the owner operators. So we are here with five other restaurants giving support to the residents of RPV that are going through these landslides and something unprecedented that we haven't seen in over a, a, a really a century. So here we are serving them, giving them a little bit of a, a smile on their faces, going through what they're going through right now, which is uh, you know, we can't even fathom. Um, Community's Child is supporting all the restaurants, uh, being able to come out and do what we do best, which is make food and, and serve guests. I think it's a positive uplift for us that we feel that we're not forgotten, that we have people that we don't know coming together to bring a meal to us. And that's how, just like with families, you get together around the table, and that's what this is. It's the same, you know, idea, and so we really appreciate it. Well, this is a wonderful feeling. I actually know my friends and neighbors are here, and I want to thank Jojo and Vince for, from Gaetano's for putting this on tonight. It's not only are our friends and neighbors eating here, but they're also bringing it home to some of our neighbors. I have, like, six women on my street in their 80s, and we're all doing a really good job of helping watch after them. And we're really become a, a close-knit group of friends and family all helping each other deal with being disconnected. Well, I'm Tara Nirenhaus, and I'm the executive director of Communities Child. And one of our programs uh, Communities Child has is something called Healthy Bags. And Healthy Bags started off by providing um, meals on Fridays for school kids that basically were going home to empty cupboards. And a lot of people think the South Bay, there isn't many kids that go home to empty cupboards, but um, I can tell you, and along with my driver, Phil, that we are just about in every elementary school in Torrance and now in the high schools as well. And then when we heard about kind of the, what was going on over here in the Portuguese band, um, it really hit us kind of hard. And, and Vince, uh, who's actually runs Gaetano's, is also on our board of directors, and we both have a really big heart for people who maybe are, are, are definitely dealing with, with food insecurity issues. And I think for us up here, we were, we were remembering how many of the people up here actually have been here like maybe since the 50s, like they're in retirement, they're actually on social security. They were kind of house rich, right? Um, not so much anymore. We're quite saddened by that. I can only imagine how devastating that is. So we not only wanted to get them food, we wanted to get everybody food because this is really traumatic and people that are going through trauma can really use some support of the community. So we really wanted to step up and do that. I'm Julia Parton and I am past president of the Palos Verdes Peninsula Rotary Club and a 27 year member. Um, we, five dinner events have been graciously donated by Communities Child and Vince Giuliano has worked tirelessly to get five different restaurants to come and then we have support from the community. We have volunteers from Torrance Memorial. We have volunteers from the Palos Verdes Association of Realtors, and then of course from Rotary. Um, we all have donated sodas, wine, water, um, desserts, anything to help fulfill the meals. So um, it's a really nice social event. So um, this is our second. And the first one was, um, I left with my heart full that we were able to have a social environment for them, which is positive and um, hoping tonight will be just as good. There's a relief fund that's been started, the Portuguese Band Relief Fund. Um, talk about that and if people want to get involved and how, that, how that's coming along. Oh, sure. Um, you know, the city contacted uh, Rotary um, after we helped with the Pear Tree Landslide, Pear Tree Lane and Rolling Hills Estates. And, what Rotary does is we we're, we're just really the conduit for the donations through our foundation. So it is a tax write-off for those who want to donate. So right now we're just collecting community funds, and those will all go back to the impacted residents in both Palos Verdes, uh, Rancho Palos Verdes, and in Rolling Hills. So. so what 
What's the easiest way for people to donate to this fund? Well, they're on the city's website, the RPV City website. There is a flyer with a QR code or a link um, that they can use to donate, or they can mail us a check. Hi, my name is Rudy. I'm an accounting clerk in the finance department here with the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. We are at the Ladera Linda Community Center helping resi impacted residents with the grant program offered by the city with, for the landslide assistance program. Uh, applicants are welcome to stop by here uh, October 9th or next week, October 16th from 1 to 7 p.m. where they can fill out an application uh, provided with some identification, proof of receipts, or a sworn statement. But the application is to help residents who are impacted by the, by the recent landslide activity and utility shutoffs. Uh, this grant was given to the city by Supervisor Janice Hahn with the LA County. Um, and we're hoping that this money, up to $10,000 per applicant, will help residents uh, find alternative means of utilities or electricity, solar is a big one, or to repair their homes and home hardening projects. As of today, we've received about 106 applications through the online portal alone, not including several mailed-in applications or applications that were dropped off at City Hall earlier in the week. The city is in there having people apply for up to $10,000. Tell me about what you did and how it worked out for you. You can apply online and it's a grant for $10,000 from Janice Hahn's office, which is very helpful because all this is expensive. I mean, solar just whole home solar is between forty and ninety thousand dollars. The generators are, you know, a thousand, and the batteries are more. I mean, it's all an ex it's expensive process. It's hard not having very good cell service, television, internet, electricity. We're running. I'm have I have generators and a little bit of solar. We're kind of all in the various stages of gaining back some of our comforts. You know, many of us don't have light switches and the refrigerator we've had to empty three times. So this is what we appreciate, you know, we really do. And it's nice for us all to come together and be together and share how we are getting through this. Well, this is wonderful. This is the first time I've been up, I've seen the offer, and I'm so glad I did. I mean, I had no idea that all of the residents around here would come together, have this moment to uh, speak to each other and to talk about what's going on and it's very supportive and the food smells delicious. I'm excited to try it. I know you're taking it home. You've got Italian from Gitano's. It's oh. going to be delicious. It's going to be delicious and everyone from the Rotary Club and from the city, everyone's working really hard to um, help the community come together. So I'm thankful. Yeah, so we've got the depot helping, Barron's 2239, Mickey's Deli, uh, the Shore Grill, and then we have got Torrance Bakery that donated all the desserts. They'll be doing this for the next Wednesdays till the end of October. Yeah, every Wednesday for October, we've got those five restaurants that are going to be serving all, all the... How the, many meals are you planning for? Um, so there's about 300 residents that we're planning for each Wednesday. So in total, we've got 1,500 people that we'll be feeding um, throughout the month. As we wrap it up here at Ladera Linda Community Center, all the residents I spoke to said they are so grateful for this Mend the Bend effort to bring residents together for some nourishment and love and community support. For more information on what's going on and an update on the landslide, go on to our city's website at rpvca.gov. I'm Liz Brown-Swanson. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, we are RPV Together.